Hi all, my name is Akash Deepama. I'm working as a software developer in Mindfire Solutions. Uh, today I will give you a demo over the uh, Debian packaging. <coughs> so basically uh, in this I will give you how to create a package of any project that you want to create. Uh, like in any, uh, let's say, there's a, you can see this is the Django file. So basically, uh, if you can see that uh, this Django, in fact, this is also uh, a Debian file. If you want to install it on our system, then we just write it as a sudo apt get install python django and it will install the things. Right now, it's already installed on my system. So uh, basically, it's a Debian file. I just downloaded this Debian file via apt get download and here it comes the file. So this file contains uh, the name of the package, the version and the architecture. I will tell you how it will change later. So basically, first of all, I will give you a little bit of a uh, little bit of overview of uh, for the Ubuntu beginners like uh, they would just want to create a Debian package then uh, like in uh, Windows you can see that uh, in Windows there is a set of exe file so this that file contains a uh, that setup basically uh, which runs through the MSI installer and it will install on to the, uh, onto that system so basically that will automate the whole thing means where we want to move th those files, where we want to move those configuration and uh, where we want to uh, put those DLL and all so at where so like that we just want to create a package out of it so uh, I will give you an idea means basically how we can create a package like in Debian so the base uh, as in Windows you can find .exe so that of uh, in Ubuntu you can find .db so basically we can run directly like sudo dpkg hyphen i and the debian file although it is already installed on my system so it will just replace it and it will deploy the new version so it won't affect anything basically we just write a dpkg hyphen i and we can install that file so uh, what exactly what it is uh, this file has been hosted on some repository through apt uh, and in sources dot list you can find the address of that server where it get ho hosted so you can see in apt uh, apt sources so it contains the information of that means the url of that server so basically in any of the uh, uh, url it, this package has been maintained and it fetched that information from there uh, there so this is contains uh, this will contain some of the information regarding uh, which version it is using and which uh, like you can see that this package is my uh, package name is python django pilot is optional maintenance is ubuntu developers architecture it supports all what's the version name it depends on these uh, packages also and this is the library that it supports this is the recommend uh, suggested packages and it contains some other description of it so uh, we just create our Debian package in that way so I'm just removing just to make it sure that it contains nothing yeah so here you can find this Debian folder basically this Debian folder contains some of the information regarding that so basically this is the changelog file uh, this changelog file comes into the play when we just want to deploy a solution uh, means this project on uh, one of the repository uh, through rep repo and uh, if you want to release upgrade of it and if you want to release a uh, uh, means anything like uh, if you want to uh, downgrade that package uh, or if you want to just change some of the things so we just change the uh, version over here and we just release it again so it will change the log of it, uh, that uh, means it will change the version of it and it will upgrade the package or downgrade the pack downgrade the package so it will comes into the play but, uh, but right now we just want to install it via uh, means a debian package so it won't do anything uh, the second file is the control file uh, 
basically uh, i showed you earlier by using ipt cache show so this is the control uh, basically it comes from the control file so here you can see the source name what is the source name of this is thread pool section name is python optional the priority maintainer name and uh, what here so uh, it on which packages it depends means uh, at the time of building this package so basically some of the scripts comes into the play to make this package so we can specify some other build dependency over here and what is standard version that it's uh, means what's the version of it and it contains some of the information related to the package means the package name it supports all the architecture and it supports on the uh, depends on the python uh, python module and provide some of the things like some of the python that natively provide so this is the description of that thread pool module and after that we can uh, means write some of the automation scripts into this rules file so basically this rule file contains uh, mm -hmm. means we want to just change some of the uh, uh, means the permission of the file so we can just change from here uh, like putting some of the commands over here so I'm just changing fixing the permissions and whether I'm um, just uh, making sure that this is not these files are not executable so I just do the things by keeping this script as uh, keeping this command into this and uh, this is the thing and there's another file that is a copyright file where we can put the name of the package name means the uh, person who is maintaining this file so basically I just put a name of that person that is the EMEBN and which license it is using so uh, I got uh, some information that it is using a PSD license uh, through PyPy and uh, I just put a mail ID and all and I uh, just make sure that this is the my copyright file that uh, that I'm using the Debian folder and that's copyright by me so uh, this contains a copyright information of that module of that project so I'm having this Debian file and I'm just moving it in the Debian uh, means tapping into the thread pool folder now after moving into this uh, I just have to run some other dev, uh, Debian scripts so for that there is a command basically dbuild sorry so I'm just uh, started and it will generating start generating the Debian file and finally it comes out it with the Debian package so this is the Debian package that I'm having and I just have to install it via dpkg whether it is working or not to make it sure so yes it can install on my system and I can use that package also now if I, I want to uh, see the information of this package uh, what it contains so I'm just making that yes uh, this package is Python thread pool and maintain is Akash Thivama. so the information that put in the control it comes over here so this is the whole thing so this is how we created a package and we installed it in the system we can later deploy this package on a repository and this file you can see this is a changes file comes into the play we just have to uh, push that file on uh, through wrap repo command and onto that repository and we just have to add that repository into our uh, ape sources so we have just uh, mentioned that uh, server name of a uh, and we just have to update and install it will list that package into our repository so this is how we can standardize the thing and we can do the things like making a package out of it just creating a uh, we don't have to mess around with uh, some of things like moving file manually and so basically it contains uh, 
the automation script of building that package what it should do and what it uh, so this is uh, basically a tab in package and that's all for the, this uh, demo yeah thanks for watching this